Hi guys, how you doing? Okay, so gonna jump into it really quickly this morning. Um, I was thinking, and the scripture that came to me, the part of the scripture that came to me this morning was, as each part does its work. So of course I looked it up. Um, and that's if that comes from Ephesians 4. So I'm just gonna start reading. Um, but the question I want to ask today is what are you doing with the part that you've been given? So Ephesians 4 says, Ephesians 4, 4 says, There is one body of believers and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you called to salvation. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is sovereign over all and working through all and living in all. Yet grace, God's undeserved favor, was given to each one of us, not indiscriminately, but in different ways in proportion to the measure of Christ's rich and abundant gift. Therefore it says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and he bestowed gifts on men. Now this expression, he ascended, what does it mean except that he also had previously descended from the heights of heaven into the lower parts of the earth? He who ascended is the very same as he who also has ascended high above all the heavens, that he, his presence, might fill all things, that is, the whole, uni the whole universe. And his gifts to the church were varied, and he himself appointed some as apostles, special messengers or representatives, some as prophets who speak a new message from God to the people, some, av some as evangelists who spread the good news of salvation, and some as pastors and teachers to shepherd and guide and instruct. And he did this to fully equip and perfect the saints, God's people, for works of service, to build up the body of Christ, the church, until we all reach oneness in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, growing spiritually to become a mature believer, reaching to the fullness of the reaching to the measure, sorry, of the fullness of Christ, manifesting his spiritual completeness and exercising our spiritual gifts in in unity. So that was Ephesians 4, 4 to 13. And the question I want to ask is, what are you doing? Like I said, what are you doing with the part you've been given? Each of us has been given a gift from on high. God has equipped us with something specific. And there's another scripture, I believe it's in Corinthians, that talks about the different parts of the body, you know, and how can an eye say he wants, like, I, I might misquote it, but it talks about the different functions of the different parts of the body and how each part of the body has a specific function and is relevant and we're, and each part is connected. And so we need each part. So just imagine if you were to cut off your little finger, how hard it would be for you to grasp something. If you stub your little toe, how painful you feel how painful it is and how you feel that throughout the rest of your body and so it is with the, with the different parts and the different giftings that have been given throughout the body of Christ we are a body so I might be the finger you might be the head somebody else might be the eye somebody else might be the hand somebody else might be the leg we each have a role to play and the question I'm asking is are you playing your role <laughs> are you playing your role or are you busy looking at what the eye is doing and envying the eye for being the eye when you're the finger so you don't feel like you're getting the attention you should be getting so you you envy the eye and you never do what you're supposed to do as a finger you would have wasted your entire life looking at the eye do what you're supposed to do my encouragement this morning is do what you're supposed to do function in the gifting that you've been given function in the lane that God has placed you in because he's sovereign and he knows why he made you the way he made you he knows what he appointed unto you he knows what he's bestowed upon us he knows what he put in us even before the foundations of the earth and so it's for us now to unearth those things, to find out, Lord, what part of the body did you make me? And to shine in that area, function where you're supposed to function because when you don't, it inhibits the rest of the body. We're waiting, each part needs to do its part. Each part of the body must function effectively so that the whole body can move and the whole, the whole body can be unified and move forward in purpose and move forward without hindrance. And so, are you doing your part? That's the question I want you to really mull over. Are you doing your part or are you busy looking at somebody else's part and wanting to do their part when you weren't equipped for it? And it's okay. 
you were equipped for something, what are you doing with it? Hmm? Ask yourself that question this morning. Have a great day. Bye.